ESG stands for Environmental, Social and Governance. These are the three key themes in measuring the sustainability and ethical impact of an investment in a company. We've discussed a lot about corporate governance in the past lessons, so our focus in this lesson is on the environmental and social aspects. ESG investing generally refers to the consideration of ESG factors when identifying companies to invest in. Also broadly known as sustainable investing or responsible investing, the key is to invest in companies that efficiently manage their environmental, human capital and financial resources to generate attractive long-term profitability. ESG investing is also sometimes referred to as socially responsible investing. However, do be aware that this is a term that can also refer to ethical or moral investing, which is to exclude casino, tobacco and companies that produce weapons. One issue with ESG investing is that conflicts may occur when a portfolio manager has a fiduciary responsibility of his clients. Choosing to construct a portfolio based on ESG factors at the expense of investor returns would technically violate the manager's fiduciary duty. However, the US Department of Labor has recently addressed this potential conflict, stating that this is not a violation. Specifically, it was determined that when two investments have the same relevant financial characteristics, using ESG factors to choose one over the other is not a violation of fiduciary duty. So we've been talking a lot about ESG factors. Let's now examine what these factors are. Overall, environmental factors that are generally considered material in investment analysis include natural resource management, pollution prevention, water conservation, energy efficiency, the existence of carbon assets, and adherence to environmental safety and regulatory standards. Social factors generally pertain to the management of the human capital of a business. This includes human rights and welfare concerns in the workplace, staff development, employee diversity, and the impact of the business on the community. These factors can affect the firm's staff turnover, employee morale, and reputation. These in turn have an impact on the firm's profitability and competitiveness. Unfortunately, there's no universal set of factors that can be applied to all companies as the materiality of these ESG factors often differs among sectors. For example, environmental factors such as pollution prevention and water usage will likely be significant for utilities or mining companies. However, these are relatively inconsequential for financial institutions where social factors like staff development, employee diversity and the impact on community are likely to be more significant. Now that we've learned some of the factors of interest for ESG, let's learn some of the approaches to integrate these factors into the portfolio management process. One approach is through negative screening, which is also called exclusionary screening. As the name suggests, a portfolio manager excludes companies based on some of the ESG factors. For example, some specific mining, oil extraction, transport and tobacco may be excluded due to poor track records on corruption and human rights practices. Many of these negative screens use specific standards such as the UN Global Compact's 10 Principles on Human Rights, Labour the environment and corruption to identify the companies that should be excluded. In contrast, the positive screening approach is to identify companies that have positive ESG practices. It's typically implemented through an ESG ranking or scoring approach to identify companies that can successfully manage ESG risks and may benefit from ESG-related opportunities in their sector. For example, Positive screening may include seeking companies that promote employee rights, workplace well-being and customer safety. A related approach, the best-in-class approach, seeks to identify companies within each industry group 
with the best ESG practices. Such an approach does not exclude any industry, but instead focuses on finding the best representation within each sector. This allows portfolio managers to maintain sector weightings comparable to a benchmark index. This helps reduce the risk of overweighting or underweighting certain sectors due to ESG considerations. Another approach is called ESG integration or ESG incorporation. ESG factors are integrated into traditional security and industry analysis. The focus of ESG integration is to identify risks and opportunities arising from ESG factors and to determine whether a company is properly managing its ESG resources in a sustainable manner. Thematic investing focuses on investing in a specific sector or a specific theme. This approach is often based on needs arising from economic or social trends. For example, sustainable energy sources is an ESG theme that arose from the demand for clean energy as the world becomes more sensitive to climate change. Clean water resources is another such theme that arose from rising global living standards and industrial need for clean water. And finally, impact investing seeks to achieve targeted social or environmental objectives along with measurable financial returns. Such investments made can be in specific companies or projects, including venture capital investments in companies focused on increasing sustainability or providing environmental improvements. Another form of impact investing is the purchase of climate bonds by investors who want to advance low-carbon initiatives. Climate bonds, such as green bonds, are issued to finance projects that seek to fight climate change, such as the development of infrastructure and alternative energy projects. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.